Hey guys, I'm Ron Vagwins here, back with another Minecraft tutorial, and today we're going to be doing some simple Minecraft redstone. Um, that's um, obviously the point of this series. So, first, today, um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to use pistons, sticky pistons, and redstone repeaters. Now, this is a very, very easy tutorial. Um, it will not require any really redstone skill. Just every material I s you have, I have in my bar right now. So you'll need redstone torch, redstone, redstone repeater, a sticky piston made with slime balls, um, a piston, and a piece of wood. Oh, and a lever or a button, whatever you want to use. I'm just gonna use a button in this case. So basically, redstone and when it is placed. It is like a power supply in this game. Um, what you can do is you can place that to light it up, and then it will work your piston. Um, so yeah, that's basically redstone is used as power. Um, it can be lit up through buttons, which can be made out of some stone. So yes, Minecraft redstone, very, very easy to use. So right here, I'm just giving a diagram how to make a simple piston thing that will retract blocks um, like this. And when the button is turned on, it will push. It will push. Let me get a lever also. It will push the block out from where it is. So see. And then it's if you press that it'll pull it back in. Um you saw how I made this. All I did was I built a little cube right here, like this. One, two, three, four, five. I put some redstone there and a lever there. I don't know why that piece of wood's there. So next what you want to do is you want to take a sticky piston and put it right there and then put wood right there. Um flick the switch, it will push out and then it'll pull back in. Sticky pistons are used as like block pullers. Um, let me just make a simple diagram here of what is right there. Just quick, if I can even place today. So sticky pistons are the pistons that basically just are used for like sticking onto objects. So as you see, um, let me just delete this piston and re-add it. We shut the lever. So as a sticky piston, it will push out, and when you click it again, it will pull the brick back in, and it will be stuck onto it. Now a normal piston, when it is used, a normal piston doesn't do anything but push. See, the block is not stuck. Um, and one really quick thing I want to say is that redstone must be powered. The piston must have a z correct um, power rate right to the back of it. So in order to use a piston, you cannot do this. You can do this. But you cannot do something like this. As you see here doesn't work. The redstone may be power, but it will not work. And your piston basically is a waste of time. Um, and there goes a waste of a little bit of iron. So, remember that it must have direct power. Um, in order for the piston to work, it must have direct power. Um, and one way to indicate that your redstone is on is you just flick it and the redstone will glow. Um, yeah. So what we're basically going to be building today, um, as you already learned here, the quick and easy um, uses of redstone. Um, but I have not told you about redstone repeaters. I want to do that right before we get into our next step. So redstone repeaters are basically, they look like this. Um, they're crafted with, I forget how you craft them. And when you right click, you can set it to a certain setting. Um, you most likely want to click one, two, three times. Um, basically, redstone repeaters are used for carrying a redstone circuit or current 
out longer. Um, they're also used as time things and delay. They are used as delayers. Um, as you will see um, in my cannon tutorial, if you watch that, they are used as the delay in order to keep it redstone from going. So you know how redstone lights up basically instantly. Um, so what I'm going to show you here, so you build something like this and put some redstone repeaters. I'm going to add one, two, three more. So I'll add six redstone repeaters. Set them all to the highest setting. And when you place a lever here, see it will take time before it lights. But I did not wire it right because I'm an idiot. Um, because I'm really stupid. Oops, <laughs> I'm even more stupid than I thought. There. Boom, boom, boom. So now you get the point. Um, I actually did not do this 100% right. If I do this. There we go. Um, it takes a little bit of time before it lights. Um, obviously, there needs to be a repeater here. That's that's why it does that. Um, it cannot. Oh, one thing I must say: this does not work. That I forgot to tell you. That's why I built this. This demonstration here does not work. Um, blocks cannot be that, as you see right here. There's like an arrow pointing. Like that. That is the way. There you go. See? Um, that is where the circuit will be carried. Where the, um... That is where it will be carried to, um... And when I do this, it will shut it off. Basically, redstone is meant to... Um, do your wiring, like, the electricity in your Minecraft house, or, I don't know, whatever else you could think of using redstone for. Um, redstone is also used for building various tower building mechanisms, bridge building mechanisms, and I'm losing my voice as I'm talking. Um, but basically, yeah, redstone is used mostly for, um... Basically, just I don't know how to explain it. Just electricity and stuff it is Minecraft's electricity. Uh, yeah. So that was tutorial one: how to use redstone repeaters and pistons, um, and the basics of redstone. Um, please watch my next redstone, um, simple redstone tutorial, because I'm putting a lot of time into these. Um. I had to learn how to do red some one or two things that are going to be added in the series. Um, so yeah, my name is Emerald Penguins. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe for a new uh, next the next redstone video. Thanks. Bye bye.